In this video, I'm going to teach you about area and circumference. Now we know that the area of a rectangle or a square is equal to the length times the width. But we can write this formula in terms of variables. So we can say that the area, or A, is equal to length will be our L and width will be W, L times W. So if we're given a rectangle, we're going to say that the length is 4 and the width is 2. We know that area equals the length 4 times our width 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now let's look at the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle we say is equal to 1 half or in decimal form 0.5 of the base, so times the base times the height. So let's put this in variables. A area equals one half B, which will be our base, times H, which is our height. So let's look at a triangle. So for this triangle, we're going to say that the base is four, and we're also going to say that the height is also four, which is this distance here that I represented with the dotted blue line. So our formula is going to be A equals one half times the base, which is four, times the height, which is also four. Remember, multiplication is commutative, so we can multiply this in any way. But one half times four would be two, and then we would be left with the four, and two times four is also 8. You can see that this is the same exact area as up here. But why is that? This triangle looks nothing like this rectangle. But the area is what represents the inside of it. So how much is inside? So if we were to take this triangle and split it into two pieces straight down the middle, it would look like this. If we were to flip this piece right here, our triangle would then look something like this. Now, if we were to move that same piece right here over to here, our triangle would now look something like this. Now, if we were just to connect these two pieces together, we would get a rectangle. The same rectangle, just in a different orientation. The area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. We learned about exponents in our last video, but what exactly is this pi? Pi is a symbol that represents a number. Pi is equal to 3.141592 and so on. So usually we truncate this or shorten it and we just look at the very first bit, the 3.14. So pi is a symbol that represents this number. So whenever you see pi, you know that this is what you're going to put in. Unlike variables, where a, b, c, x, y, all of the letters can represent multiple numbers, pi only represents one number, and that is the 3.14. Let's say we have a circle, and the radius is going to be equal to 3. The radius is 
the length from the center of the circle to the outside. So the radius is the same everywhere. So the radius is the same here, the same here, the same here. All of those would be 3. Writing this formula as variables, we would just write a equals equals pi r squared. So plugging in that radius of 3, we're going to get that a equals pi times 3 squared. So that would just be 3.14, because that's what pi is, times 3 squared is 3 times 3. So that would be 3.14 times 9, which is equal to 28.27 or 0.3. Now a lot of times it is acceptable when you get to this point 3.14 times 9 you can leave your answer as 9 pi because 9 pi is the same thing as 28.27 but to start your teachers will most likely have you multiply pi out. Now let's look at circumference. The circumference of a circle is like the perimeter so it's how long this outside line is. That's what we're looking at. The circumference is equal to 2 times the radius times pi. However, 2 times the radius is also the same thing as the diameter. So that would be the diameter times pi. So you can use either formula for the circumference. If we're using radius, 2 times r times pi. If we're using diameter, it's just d times pi, where d and r would be your variables. So 2 times r times pi would be 2 times 3 times pi, which would just be 2 times 3, so it would be 6 pi, or 6 pi is the same thing as 18.85. Now, if we want to use the diameter, the diameter is this length from one side of the circle all the way to the opposite side, so a straight line across. But if we know that any point starting at the center to the outside is this distance of 3, then the diameter would just be 2 of those 3's. So this distance is 3 and this distance is also 3. So the diameter, the distance straight across, would be 3 plus 3 or 6. So this would become 6 pi. And we know that 6 pi is equal to 18.85.